Hey everyone, Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today I'm bringing you another tutorial on how to use some Cinema 4D. Uh, today we're going to be going over MoGraph tags and a little bit of lighting. Um, I found some pretty cool lighting when I was just messing around with my scene here, but we're mainly going to talk about uh, MoGraph tags and uh, collisions and stuff like that. Very simple stuff, so just, just calm down. We're going to get through it. So the scene I've set up right now is just some cubes bouncing, a uh, little bounce, and they just fall around uh, with some physics. So it's very simple to do. First we're going to create a new document. Um, obviously we need a floor, so over here in our like little lighting um, expanding, expanding thing over here, if we just hold it down, um, one of the options is a floor, so if we go ahead and make a floor, um, we have our basic floor that we're going to be using for the scene. Now I'm probably going to go in a weird order here because I'm going to go ahead and add my uh, cube first actually. I'm going to add my cube and then I'm going to add a light so we can see the cube. So uh, to add a cube you just go over here and click cube and you have your cube. Uh, so I'm going to make it a little smaller like so and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a light so to add a light um, you can just click that click the um, th icon that we used to make a floor and it'll go ahead and default to a uh, light so uh, the cool type of light that I used is called a volumetric it's actually not a type of light it's a um, type of setting it's a type of visible light that you can use when uh, creating lights in Cinema 4D. Uh, so for the type of light, um, usually Omni for this because we don't really have a spotlight or a sunlight kind of rays kind of thing going on here. We just have a general setup for our um, scene. So if we look at it right now, it's just a light. Um, it's not reflecting any shadows and it's just, it doesn't look too great because you can't actually tell where the floor is. So to fix that, we can go over here to shadow, and we can add some sh soft shadow maps. And also we can create a uh, visible light. We can change that to volumetric. And um, right now, I think that might not look too great, but if we go ahead and look at that, uh, it, looks, it looks okay. Um, basically that adds some really nice shadows and you can see the light is actually coming from a single point and then panning out until uh, it's not really effective anymore. So um, the uh, last thing I want to do is because this other side, the right side of the cube is kind of dark, I'm going to just add a very basic light. I'm not even going to add any uh, special effects to it or anything. I'm just going to make a regular light but turn down the intensity to about 80 and maybe move this over and up. So if we render out now, um, we have a beautiful looking scene here. And we haven't even added any textures or anything like that. So um, back to the actual tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, now we have to create a, um, a grid. Well, I, I want to create a grid because I like how the cubes interact with each other as well as the floor. Um, so to do that, uh, we could copy and paste these cubes and make however many we wanted, but that kind of takes a long time, and since there's so many unique options and uh, ways to do things, we're going to go into MoGraph and go to Cloner Object and do this the easy way. So um, once we have a Cloner Object up, uh, we just drag the cube into the Cloner Object, so um, you get this plus minus, and the Cloner Object is the parent. Uh, so to make a grid with this cloner object, if we select the cloner object, it defaults to the object tab. And uh, if you want to make a grid, you just simply go to mode and choose grid. And um, if you wanted to do any other type of um, setting for that, you could choose whatever you wanted. And um, also you can change however many uh, cubes you want and the spacing, space them out a little bit like, like that. Alright, so there's that. We've set up our scene already. If we go ahead and look at it, we have some cubes floating, and they look like they're ready to fall. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Um, to add physics to this, um, it's very sim similar to uh, 3ds Max, but um, it's kind of easier, actually. 
uh, all we have to do is we have to click our floor and our cloner object well we, separately if we click our floor if we right click on it go to MoGraph tags and rigid body and uh, we just add a rigid body tag onto the floor that's like making a object um, a real life object I guess uh, and if we had go ahead and do that for the same thing with the uh, cloner object MoGraph right click MoGraph tags and rigid body if we play it um, it'll be affected by physics and uh, all kinds of cool stuff so um, now we have that cubes fall and uh, they actually interact with each other and they interact with the floor and of course just like any other kind of settings you can choose however much bounce you want for example you turn the bounce up a little bit add, uh, let's have less friction and collision noise and leave that alone alright so there we go bounce a little bit and they fall apart so uh, that's pretty much it in this tutorial I went over how to make this uh, very basic um, falling cubes this can this note this can be done with um, cubes and any other kind of shapes that you want to make uh, we also went over volumetric lighting and uh, the basics of that so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial this has been eat sleep from the techies thank you for watching Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.